I've not seen such bravery. Welcome to Rosemary West's House of Fortunes, a mansion that someone apparently decided would look great if it was painted completely gray. You might be wondering, just who is Rosemary West? Well, she's a serial killer who tortured and murdered at least 10 young women. Okay, okay, so it's probably not the same woman, just an unfortunate coincidence. Just like what happened with OJ Simpson's cricket adventure. My name is Rosemary West. Welcome to my house. Please sign the register. Oh gee, thanks Rosemary, you have a beautiful home, I am so excited. Why is Rosemary's face so much more detailed than anything else in this room? Her head looks like it was taken from a photograph, but the rest of her body makes her look like some kind of depressing, midlife crisis, funeral attending Barbie. Rosemary wants to know a lot about you, your full name, alternate alias, and date of birth. This is obviously to help out the accuracy of this fortune telling game from 1993. Enter and seek your fortune. Thank you, Miss West. You're a lovely host. The cursor moves so slow sometimes, and it's jittering all over the screen. C come on, I want to enter and seek my fortune already. <laughs> I'm sorry, was that you, Rosemary? <laughs> They are waiting for you. Rosemary probably should have done more than one take of her lines, or at least commissioned another sprite of herself. She didn't even move positions on the screen. So we've got astrology, crystal ball, tarot, numerology, and itching. I don't know what those last two are. Itching, or I Ching apparently, involves tossing coins to form this thing. I got cow meeting and chi and modesty. And let me just tell you right now, I feel like I learned a lot about myself today. In a position of responsibility, you may need to make use of the work of inferior people. Well, it looks like it might be time for another collab with Kid Icarus, huh? Ah! Are you ready to consult the cards? Fine, let's consult the cards. Just stop staring at me like that. You too, just let's cover this creepy thing up. Oh good, I'm glad the deck has been shuffled. People may think that tarot card readings from computer games aren't accurate, but I trust this one wholeheartedly because hey, they shuffled the deck. It should be obvious by now that I don't often get my fortune told. I don't know what any of this means, and I don't even know if the computer is dealing the cards in the right way. And call me a skeptic, but I feel like if there were spirits or whatever trying to contact me, they'd choose a method other than Rosemary West's House of Fortunes. One might say that I thought this game was gonna be something more entertaining than a bunch of fortune-telling minigames. You may suspect that you are being treated unfairly or that your efforts are not being rewarded appropriately. It's like getting a fortune cookie that says the grass blows freely in the evening wind. Like, yeah, I guess you're right, but also you're full of shit. Let's just see what numerology is. I've never heard of it before. I figured you were coming. Would you like me to calculate your fortune? Ha ha, get it? I said figured and I work with numbers. Ha ha. There's no activity here because the computers can apparently just process my outlook using the information I already gave them. Let's see what we got here. Everything eventually comes to a conclusion. Wow, that's just almost too insightful. Have I mentioned how hard it is to move the cursor on this screen? Moving the cursor is like 90% of this game, but look, I'm moving the mouse as fast as I can and this thing is just crawling forward at a snail's pace. Astrology is just more of the same, though it does does have some of the worst wallpaper and a house that is exceedingly ugly. Outside it's a solid gray and inside it just looks like grandma showed up and picked the most ornate wallpaper and carpet that she could find. It's my prediction that Rosemary did not hire an interior designer. Speaking of Rosemary, she does not do anything in this place. I thought she might be the person behind the crystal ball, but it turns out to be this woman with no arms and floating Rayman hands. Okay, let's just get our reading and get out of here. Ah. That doesn't seem necessary. The interior of the crystal ball has taken on the appearance of a beehive. Oh right, of course, silly me. I should have known that it was a beehive, obviously. So that's Rosemary West's House of Fortunes, a game that I'm sure entertained tens of grandmothers across the country. And although I don't feel like my reading gave me any special insight into myself or my future, the game did present me with one incredible, possibly unanswerable question. Who the hell is Rosemary West? Psychic 
Detective is a game for the PC, PlayStation, and 3DO, and was released on November 30th, 1995. The developer, Colossal Pictures, lived up to their name by creating a colossal amount of full motion video to make this game. Well, maybe it's less of a game and more of an interactive movie.